Hi, and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson, we'll learn all about the while loops using Python. So anyways, guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we need to know is what is a while loop? A while loop is like a repeating if statement. It keeps looping while a particular condition is true. So for example, while I'm hungry, then I will keep eating. So the condition is that you're hungry. And the action that you need to do is that you'll keep on eating when you are hungry. So the keywords that we need to use are while. The example, and this is the syntax of a while loop, is while the condition is met and the condition is true, then you can execute some code and get it to do something. So for example here, let's look at this code over here. We've got x is equal to zero, and while x is less than five, print the current value of x is x, and then we have a counter at the end. So the first line of code is initializing the loop variable. And the loop condition depends on the value of x, so it needs to be initialized and given a value before the loop even starts. The loop condition is what we have here in yellow. So the loop will keep repeating the condition or while the condition is true. And in this case, while x is less than five. The condition is checked between every loop and if x is equal to or greater than five, the condition is false and the loop will end. And then finally, you have changing the loop variable. So this is where we want to change the loop variable every time we loop. Otherwise, the condition might never become false and we run into this thing which is called an infinite loop. So this is setting a counter to make sure that x does not stay on zero. So here's an example of an infinite loop. Here you have i is equal to zero and while i is less than four, print i, it will just give you back a constant stream of zeros. So that is not what we want with while uh, statements. You have to make sure that you do not get an infinite loop. So now we move to our problem. So our problem is we need to write a program with a while statement that prints a number as long as it's less than five. Once it reaches five, it will say that the number is greater than five. So an example should look like this. Zero is less than five, one is less than five, two is less than five, three, etc., etc. But when you get to the last line, five is not less than five, or five is actually equal to five. So what does this look like in real code? All right, we start off by initializing the variable, we're setting at zero, and then we have our while statement in here. So now we have our loop, which is happening. And then we also have our counter, which is adding a plus one to our initial variable. But now once if it you know, becomes false, then we also have our else statement, which is um, count is not less than five. So the results of this code here can be seen here. So if we previewed that, it, once it gets to five, it will then say five is not less than five. So I'm gonna give you another example here. All right, so we're gonna say X is equal to zero. And then what we are going to do is we're gonna put while X is less than five. We need to put our colon in there. We're gonna say print open bracket. We'll use our F string. And then we're gonna say X is less than five. And then what we need to do is we need to increment x. So we're gonna say x is equal to x plus one. And then what we need to do is we need to put our else statement in here. So I'm just gonna write else and then I'm gonna write colon. So once x is less than five, it's gonna print out x is less than five. So zero is less than five, etc. But once it hits five, we are going to write print. And then again, we'll have our f string and we're gonna open up our curly brackets. X is greater than or equal to five. And so now when we preview that, you can see here that zero is less than five all the way to four, but when it hits five, five is greater than or equal to five. So what have we learned today? Loops are used in programming to repeat code. The while loop runs continuously until the test condition evaluates to false. And finally, if the test condition is never false, then you have created an infinite loop. 
So anyways guys, thanks for watching this very short tutorial on while statements in Python. I hope you guys learned something. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.